Hi, this is Randy Wyckoff, the Dean of Public Health at East Tennessee State University. And this is your bare bones approach to better health. Please remember that children are more than twice as likely to be hit by a car and killed on Halloween than any other day of the year. Here's some important safety advice. For trick-or-treaters, the number one piece of advice is visibility. All costumes and candy bags should be light-colored with added reflective strips. Everyone should carry a flashlight, a lantern, or a glow stick. Children under 12 should be with an adult wearing light-colored clothes and carrying a light. Children over 12 can be in a group with a pre-planned route that follows well-lit sidewalks. The group should only cross at intersections, never enter any home, and no horseplay. To maximize the visibility for the trick-or-treater, it's better to wear makeup than a mask and never wear any type of contact lens if it hasn't been prescribed by a healthcare provider. For drivers, the most important safety advice, slow down, slow down, slow down. Not only are there a lot of children on the street, they're excited and may not pay attention to the usual rules of the road. Be especially careful backing up and turning corners and slow way down in residential neighborhoods. For more information on this topic, please go to the College of Public Health website. And until next week, please be well.